Hi everyone, welcome to Mindful Crafts and More. I am Katrina. If this is your first time checking out my channel, welcome. Take a look at this video or any of my other videos. And if you find yourself inspired, join my channel. Those of you who are returning, welcome back. I really appreciate you just hanging out with me for a bit. So, hi everyone. Today I am doing a work on a whip with me. And this one is a little bit different because I'm going to give you guys some information about a um, knit along that is going on. So Connie over at Just Another Stitch loves doing color work beanies with her knitting. And she thought maybe it might be a good idea to do a knit along. So this is her very first knit along that she is doing. And it is a striped color work beanie that she's doing. Now, it's going to run for about six weeks, so you have plenty of time. The first video is already out, and I will put the link in the description box below, as well as put a card up so that you guys can see it here, okay? And you can follow along with her each week. She's gonna give you a different portion of the beanie. She will give you all kind of different tips and um, pointers along the way, and she'll be available for any questions or concerns that you may have. I think it's really exciting. For me, it's kind of going to be a mystery because I haven't seen the overall striped pattern as of yet, and I don't mind doing mystery projects. As you know, I've done them before, so kind of exciting. Now, what I have done is I have gathered my yarns and my materials that I'm going to be using. And because this is going to be stretching over a period of time, I'm going to use these as dedicated um, supplies for this particular project because I have some other projects that I need to work on as well. All right. So these are the colors that I have chosen. And here's the photo that I posted on my community page. So yes, I do like those colors. I am hoping that they're going to come out really, really beautiful in the stripe pattern. And yes, I am excited. So here they are in real time. So I'm using Kirin Simply Soft. And the colors that I have are Autumn Red. All right. I have this teal. And then I have this beautiful Sage. Okay, so I'm using th these three colors and I have my tools. So I have two different size needles. I have a four millimeter um, circular and I have a four and a half millimeter circular. So I actually uh, got a really good bargain and I got this for, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I got this for $3, all right, $3. And these are clover um, bamboo needles and they are 16 inches around, which is great for the beanie and it's very comfortable. I like these because they're lightweight and I've been having some challenges with my hands and I do have um, the metal uh, interchangeable set, but the um, points are heavier for me and these are very, very lightweight. So I do like using them and it's less weight on my hands and I'm able to get more accomplished that way. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this, getting started. And I'm going to try to time myself as I do this project. Um, so I'll let you know how long it is taken for each segment and then when the whole time is over, I will let you know how long it actually took me when we put it all together. Okay, so I'm excited. Why don't you guys go ahead and work on a whip of your own while I work on mine? So let's get to working, guys. Bye. 
Okay, so I am back and I have gotten to the stopping point for this week's knit along. And this is what I have. I have not um, disconnected my yarn. So you can see here, I have the brim and it is a very nice uh, rib. I like the way it turned out. I did have a little bit of challenge with it. At one point, uh, you, sh you can see in the um, video, I missed a stitch and my stitching was off. And thank goodness I caught it shortly after I made that error and I was able to go back and figure out what I had done by looking um, at the stitches. Because once you've gotten so far, then you start to recognize the knits versus the pearls. And you can easily see where you made an error um, in your stitching. It takes a little bit of just watching those stitches and paying close attention to them. And after a while, you really do start to recognize one versus the other. So then I went ahead and changed to my second color of choice. And with the second color, I ran into another challenge. Hmm. I first of all started knitting with the wrong color. So I had to correct that. Then I got the correct color, but I hmm, forgot to change the needle size. So I took a little bit of time to show you guys what tinking is. And I uh, will do a little short um, tutorial or demo on how to tink back your work. And so I hope that that's going to be helpful for you. I'll put it in a separate uh, kind of short video and show you how to do that. Okay. Um, but finally, I got the correct needles and I went ahead and got started with the next color. And this is the stopping point for the week. So I am happy with my beanie the way it's turned out so far. I'm really looking forward to it. And I hope that you guys are too. So please take a look at Connie's channel. Take a look at the knit-along and consider participating in it. Now, guess what, guys? If you aren't ready to tackle knitting, guess what? Consider maybe doing a color work crocheted beanie. That would be really nice too, just to just pick a few colors and maybe consider doing the color sequence the way we're doing with this beanie or just something like that, all right? So that's all I have for this portion. I hope you guys will go over and take a look at it and go ahead and knit along with me. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on my progress. I may not do it as a work along with me again, but I will show you the updates and let you guys see how my beanie is working up. Okay, sound good? All right, so let's take a look at the puzzle solution for the last video that included a puzzle. And this is what I came up with. And this is the puzzle for today. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos, giving me a thumbs up, leaving me a comment for participating with the puzzles because you know I love puzzles and I'm glad to see that you guys do too. You find lots of words that I hadn't even thought of or seen uh, in the puzzle for the week. And I really, really enjoy it. So thank you so much for participating. So do everything you can, guys, to be mindful, to be at your best health, and by all means, be crafty every day. I look forward to seeing you again soon in the next video or maybe in one of yours. Take care now. Bye-bye.